Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? We've got a gorgeous, handsome, very well made fountain pen. We've got a Summit fountain pen. This one is the Summit S175. Now, some of you will say, hmm, Summit? Never heard of it. Yes, it's one of them makes that is, well, they're not, they're not too well known like your Waterman, your Conway Stewart, your Parkers, etc. But believe me, these are absolutely superb quality made fountain pens. Okay, I hear you ask who made Summits. Well, the history behind the Summit pens is, well, it's quite checkered and long. Um... I believe the company started as a company called K and Company um, in Liverpool in England around about 1895, um, and then after that they were actually uh, called Lang and Company Limited. Um, they also, well, Lang and Company had a sister company called. I think it was actually Curzon Lloyd McGregor Limited, and then. That particular company, CLM Limited, um, they actually changed the name to Curzon Limited. Um, I believe the day the Curzon Limited was around about 1920s. So, I'm saying this pen was made by Curzon Limited, and the Summit name was a name that they actually used for this specific. Um, name of fountain pens so I'm going to keep it as brief as I can I may have got some of it wrong I don't know so don't don't send me messages saying I've got it wrong but that's a sort of a very brief history now the summit pens this one is what they term as a mark 2 they also made a mark 1 version which just had one um, cap jewel there's no jewel at the end of the at the end of the barrel also the mark one um the clips were slightly different they had a sort of stepped type clip um very sort of art deco if you like and also um the mark ones were quite renowned for some beautiful lizard skin pattern pens and different colors etc although this one the mark two um, the colour came in this, well the solid colours came in black, burgundy and grey, although I do believe they also made them again in some lovely snake or sort of lizard skin colours and patterns. But this one as you can see is a beautiful classic black one. As I said it's the S175 made in England, it's the Mark II. Um, it's a lever fill fountain pen as you can see there it's got this quite a long lever um, if we take you up to the cap you can see it's got these two sort of narrow gold cap bands to the bottom of the cap and the the clip is this sort of well yeah it's a sort of a streamlined clip very very sort of plain if you like there's a sideways sideways view and you can also see there on the clip it's got the name summit running down the down the clip to the very top we've got this um, cap jewel to the very top there which is complemented by a similar sort of cap uh, not a cap jewel a barrel jewel at the end of the cap there uh, so quite reminiscent of sort of, you know, the Parker sort of vacuumatic pens with these two jewels. As I said before, the Mark 1 just had the top jewel to the cap there, not the barrel jewel. So a lovely, handsome fountain pen, a quality made fountain pen as well. Although some people say, well, yes, yeah, some have never heard of them. They are quality made fountain pens. Now, the size of this one, from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's 132mm capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice chunky 12 
millimeters in diameter so it's a lovely sized fountain pen let's show you the barrel imprint which is nice and clear on the pen and it's got the word to the very top the uh, sort of logo the word summit underneath it's got the s175 the model and then further down you can see it says made in england let's give you a slightly different view so you can see it's got a lovely clear imprint there 175 and then made in england underneath a gorgeous pen it came to me a little bit on the tired side a little bit dirty some scratches here and there i fully restored it we've put a new sack in it everything as always on my pens everything internally has been thoroughly cleaned and again you can see here it's come out absolutely beautiful so let's unscrew the cap for you Let's give you some customary twirls of the pen. You can see how it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. A gorgeous pen. Let's take you up to the section. Let's take a look at that. You can see the section's got a slightly concave section. It tapers out towards the nib there. And then if we show you the nib, keep it nice and still. It's got a lovely quite a large nib on it as well it's lovely and you can see the the imprint let's keep it nice and still for you reads summit 14 karat gold and then to the very bottom there made in england let's give you a slightly different view there we go sideways view for you Let's take you up to or underneath, show you the feed. You can see it's got quite a standard feed for the period, this, this ladder feed. And as always, you can see everything is lovely and clean. As I said before, it's a lovely sized pen, quite a chunky pen as well. Very nice and comfortable for me personally to hold. And I'm sure it's a nice writer too. Okie dokie, I can hear you. Let's see it writing, I can hear people shouting. <laughs> so, let's uh, bring on some ink. Let's dip the... Oops, there's a little bit of ink on my fingers there. Let's dip the nib in the ink. Pull on the lever. I'm hoping you could hear that. There was some bubbling and gurgling going on, which is precisely what we want to hear. Pop the ink to one side and let's bring on our little pad. As always, first time it's been used, so let's keep our fingers crossed and see how this pen writes. So, what we have is a A summit S175 made in England now what date is this pen I am dating the pen round about the 1930s maybe even the 1940s the as we said earlier it's a Curzon pen the Curzon, the Curzon company stopped sort of producing pens around the mid 1950s but this one I believe is is sort of one of the last models that they sort of produce maybe so I'm dating it 1930s maybe even the 1940s um, does it have any variation in line? No, it's it's quite it's quite a stiff nib. You can you can hear we've got some feedback on the nib. But a lovely smooth writer and writing with I would say 
mm, a fine to medium line but a lovely writer nice and smooth and again from this quite a large summit nib very nice writer so somebody will enjoy the pen somebody will have many many years of enjoyment writing with the pen so let's try and find a new home for it so there we have the Summit S175 it's the Mark II model in this beautiful classic black with gold fill trim it's a lever fill fountain pen and as you can see in absolutely stunning condition and again as I said earlier a quality made fountain pen as good as any of the major manufacturers of that particular period it's a beautiful quality made fountain pen so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people leave a comment below don't be shy have you subscribed if not why not subscribe now and if you possibly can down below please support my work but from now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.